here is a very large blood vessel. Uh, notice here is the wall of the blood vessel. Notice it also seems to be distended by a large amount of red material. And whereas red material inside of a blood vessel is simply regular old blood like we have here. These are all red blood cells and a few white blood cells. Some of the red portions distending this large blood vessel does not have the appearance of blood vessels. It has the appearance of fibrin. So that by itself presents significant suspicion that this blood clot is not just an old piece of blood that's inside happens to be inside of a vein, but perhaps it's a clot that had formed before the person died. In addition, you'll notice that some of this clot seems to be firmly microscopically attached to the wall of this blood vessel. And the wall of the blood vessel is certainly very thick, isn't it? It has um, many, many layers of smooth muscle, which makes you think uh, perhaps it could be an artery. However, if you really look at the big picture, this uh, thick-walled blood vessel also has a very, very large lumen. So this is a very, very large vein. This is one of the largest veins in your body. It's the popliteal vein. And this popliteal vein, or deep vein of the lower extremity, has thrombosed. That means it is uh, significantly at danger or at risk for causing a pulmonary embolism. Why? Did this vein form a blood clot? Well, perhaps uh, it might be any reason why a vein might form a blood clot because the ingredients of Virchow's triad are present. In other words, stasis, or at least non-laminar blood flow, disruption of the endothelium, or hypercoagulability of blood. That is Virchow's triad, stasis, endothelial disruption, uh, hypercoagulability. Nevertheless, this big uh, popliteal vein is thrombosed for all the reasons and all the gross microscopic appearances we talked about. And uh, this is a classical venous uh, blood clot or phlebothrombosis. Often the word thrombophlebitis is also used in so interchangeably you might think that they're the same but actually in thrombophlebitis you might see some more inflammatory changes within the vein rather than this nice old uh, fibrinous uh, blood clot. Thank you very much.